Hey everyone, it's Jennifer Terrell, 4-H agent for the district, and I'm here to share another sweet Valentine's Day treat for you to do with your family. So today we're um, having a little bit of a twist on the banana split, so this will be something fun to do with the kiddos. So this is a small recipe, um, but if you could get more um, and multiply it should you need to do that. So this will serve eight people, but what you need is two large ripe bananas. So, and they're trying, you know, we have those. Then we have um, wax melts or the chocolate melts uh, that you can melt to dip here in a minute. Then we have um, eight maraschino cherries that have been washed and dried that are ready to go. And then Cool Whip, which today we're using frosting because that's just what we have, but whip topping is preferable. And then we also have some sprinkles. So we're gonna show you how to make this fun um, treat here in a second. So the first thing, we also need a knife to so make sure there's an adult around to run the knife and then we a cutting board uh, to do this. So we will start with the bananas. I'm just gonna chop the end off. And you just peel the banana. Okay, so now that the bananas have been peeled, we need to divide the two bananas into eight servings. So we're gonna try our best, this one little banana, I don't know, we'll see if we can get it to happen. But we'll just try to cut it into four pieces. So they might be kind of small, but that's okay. Okay, so the next step, we are going to dip it into our melted chocolate. So just grab one of the bananas and just move it around. It'd probably work better if it was in a smaller container. And they're kind of hard to hold on to, so just FYI. And then we're going to sprinkle, a little bit of sprinkles on them. And then we're gonna set them on a, um, it says to use a cookie sheet, but today this is what we have. So we're using what we have, which is just fine if that's what you need to do also. So we have parchment paper with the banana, the chocolate, and um, the sprinkles. Next up is the whipped topping, which today we are, because we only had frosting here at the office, that is what we're using today. So you just take a little bit of that and you dollop it on top. I think that might be too much. We're just gonna give it a try. And then you take one of the cherries and you place it on top. So here's the finished product of the chocolate banana uh, split. And they're just little bites as you can see. But then you can refrigerate them in the fridge and then after probably 15 minutes, they will be set enough to enjoy. So hope that you enjoy this with your kids.